What's up guys? Samsung has taken the flagship game to the next level with the Note 8, both in size and in price. But if you're not into the S Pen, is it worth choosing over something like the S8 Plus? I'm Will for GS Marina, and this is our Samsung Galaxy Note 8 review. With its polished aluminum frame covered by Gorilla Glass, the Galaxy Note 8 has a glossy sheen that really catches the eye. It's a big phone. Built around a 6.3 inch display, the Note 8 is a little bit larger than the S8 Plus. It's a bit boxier too, with its squared off corners, and the edges of the screen are less curved, making the phone easier to hold onto. The Note 8 is definitely a two-handed affair though, and with its tall aspect ratio, it may stick out when you put it in your pocket. Still, the build is solid, and with an IP68 rating, water isn't a problem for this phone. On the back, there's the dual camera setup, and next to that, the fingerprint sensor. It wakes up and unlocks the phone really fast. But like the S8 Plus, its placement is way too high and hard to reach. It is further away from the camera lens though, which makes you a little less likely to smudge it. We really prefer to use other unlocking methods, like the iris scanner or the face recognition. They both work fast, and the iris scanner even works in the dark. Just like on the S8, there's a virtual home button on screen. Pressing it offers a subtle haptic vibration. The SIM slot is located on the top of the phone. You can find both single SIM or dual SIM versions of the Note 8, and storage is expandable. The single speaker on the bottom has good loudness levels, and sounds about the same as the S8. But it begs the question, at this price point and size, why not have a stereo setup? There is a 3.5mm jack on the bottom for your standard headphones, and next to that are the USB Type-C port and the spring-loaded S Pen dock. The stylus called the S Pen is the signature of the Note series, along with a pressure-sensitive digitizer built into the screen. Just click the pen, pull it out, and now you can immediately start taking notes. No need to even turn your screen on. Pressing the button on the side of the S Pen brings up the Air Command menu to access features. A new one is Live Message. It turns what you draw into a GIF, which you can then message to your friends. Some of the other functions include automatic translation, magnifying the screen, and capturing scrolling screenshots. There's enough sensitivity to make decent sketches on your phone. And the stylus offers you much more precision when using the interface, too. The UI is the same as what we've seen on Samsung's other phones this year, Samsung Experience running over Android 7.1.1 Nougat. A single swipe opens the Edge panel, giving access to apps, people, and tasks. Split screen mode gets some love here. You can now create a shortcut to launch a particular pair of apps together. Didn't forget Bixby, Samsung's virtual assistant, and with a dedicated button on the side, they want to make sure that you don't forget it either. We found it to be not that intrusive, unless you accidentally press the button, and it can be useful. But Bixby Vision, which is a feature built into the camera interface, is still not so great at recognizing things. Like the S8, the Note 8 brings Samsung's curved infinity display. The 6.3-inch AMOLED is gorgeous, with a QHD resolution, and it fills almost the whole surface of the phone. Everything looks super clean and sharp on this screen. It's the best we've seen yet from Samsung. It's super bright and really easy to read in sunlight. And when the phone's asleep, the always-on display gives you the time and notifications at a glance. Our Galaxy Note 8 has an Exynos 8895 chipset and 6 gigs of RAM, but depending on the market, you could find it running on a Snapdragon 835. In benchmarks, Note 8s with both chipsets perform equally well and are near the top of the pack for this year's flagships. The Note 8 opens apps just fine too, it's one of the snappier phones we've seen. At 3300 mAh, the battery in the Note 8 is a bit smaller than the one in the S8 Plus. It's a bit strange, as it's a larger phone. Its battery life is just as good though. It scored 89 hours in our proprietary test routine. With Quick Charge 2.0, we charge the battery from 0 to 40% in 30 minutes. And it also supports wireless charging, which is pretty convenient. The Note 8 has the same f1.7 camera found on the Galaxy S8, but for the first time for Samsung, there's also a second telephoto camera, this one at f2.4. Both are 12 megapixels and both have OIS. Pictures come out with great detail, high dynamic range, and really low noise. Colors are vibrant, though maybe a bit oversaturated. The telephoto camera allows for two times lossless zoom on your subject. Shooting through this camera is a little slower and softer than the main cam, but it's still one of the sharpest telephoto cameras we've seen. 
After it gets dark, shots have low noise and lots of detail. Having OIS on the telephoto lens really helps if you want to zoom at night, though the phone will switch to wide angle if it gets too dark. The dual cameras allow you to create a live focus shot with a blurred background behind your subject. The effect is great, though sometimes a piece of hair might get blurred out. You can adjust the level of blur any time in post. And you can even switch between the telephoto and wide angle after the picture is taken. The 8 megapixel front cam also has autofocus, so it's easy to get a nice selfie. Selfies are sharp and really detailed. 4K videos are great, with lots of detail and the same saturated colors as still shots. We did notice some focus hunting when using the telephoto zoom, though. 1080p videos are really good too, but with a little more noise than 4K. The Galaxy Note 8 is an impressive piece of technology, bringing some of the best we've seen in a smartphone. And unlike the S8 Plus, its dual cameras give you bokeh shots and lossless zoom. But the big size isn't for everyone, and a lot of what it can do, its flagship competitors can do as well. The unique feature you're getting here is the S Pen, a streamlined way of interacting with your phone which you won't find anywhere else. If this is something that would fit your lifestyle, then despite the high price tag, the Galaxy Note 8 could be the right choice for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and you can find our full test findings over at gsmarina.com. See you later.